Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to um, just talk to you about N-Audio, uh, show you how you can get the um, master peak value and apply it to a, a progress bar of some sort. So get N-Audio first. So just search N-Audio. Go to the first link and download it with the big purple download button. And I already have it, but we're going to go open it and extract it. So I'm just going to extract files. Make sure you extract files, otherwise you're going to make a mess of your downloads dirt. Make sure that you have an audio.dll, the big one. It's the one we will be using. Okay, open up uh, Visual Studio. and created a new project here and we're going to use Windows Forms. Alright, so we're going to add a progress bar and a combo box. Okay, just make this progress bar a bit bigger now let's go to the Solution Explorer and add a reference. Okay, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Um, I'm going to try that again. There we go. And we're just going to browse for it. It's going to be wherever you downloaded it, of course. And get the big one and audio.dll. Make sure that it's checked and hit OK. All right, and the first thing that we need to do is display our multimedia devices in the combo box. So let's do that in the form one constructor. So we need to declare an enumerator. So let's do that. I don't recall the type name, so I'm just going to type in the uh, the parent namespace and audio. And I know that it's under core audio API. It contains the term enumerates er. It's this right here so I know I know what it is now just remove that and add the using directive I keep thinking that there's a static method for this because considering this is not an I disposable type doesn't contain any properties and there's not no parameters to set or anything like that it's very interesting how it's not there's not just a static method for this Anyways, um, we're just going to get our devices. So let's go to enumerator, enumerate audio endpoints. And we'll do data flow all and get only the active devices. In this manner, or in this case, we can't really do anything with devices that aren't active. Okay, now let's add this to our combo box. And I'm going to use add range. I don't know if this is proper, but it works. So add range to array. And after that, we need a way of actually displaying the um, the master peak value every once in a while. So we're going to use a timer. Let's go add a timer in there. Let's set the timer properties. I'm going to set it to 10. Um, so anything under 10, I don't think the timer can really measure with that precision, this specific timer at least. So 10 is a good number. Um, timer, we'll just call it timer and we'll enable it. And create an event handler for its tick event. All right, so in the timer tick, we're just going to get the um, the selected combo box item and convert it to or cast it to a device, a workable device. But first we have to check to see if we have anything selected. So if combo box selected item is not equal to null, then we'll do stuff. Okay, so let's get our thingamabob. Let's get our device. So 
So I think that's the proper type mm device. It's what's going to be in selected item, which is an object. And then we can get our master peak value and apply it to the progress bar. So progress bar value, um, I don't know exactly what how this works. I think it's uh, 0 to 100. Yeah, it must be because it's an integer. So we're going to have to do some light math here. Devices. Sorry, device. And we're going to go to audio meter in information here and get the master peak value, which is a float. So we're going to times that by 100, considering it's a float from 0 to 1. And we're going to just convert it all to an integer. You might want to round up, if you, or round that is, not necessarily up. I actually prefer to use math.round, considering it's more expressive. So you might want to do that. Though it doesn't really matter in this case. You're not really looking for precision in this manner. All right, so I think that's all you really need to do. Let's try it out. So let's go to the form one here, boot it up, and play something. So that's not going to look too good just because of the way the, the built-in progress bar works. It tries to animate between the different points that are set, well, the different values that are set, and it looks very unnatural. And that's it. See you later.